hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so for today i'm going to show you the recipe of the bhajahori manna style bashanti polao so if you're interested to see how i did that keep on watching so we shall start off with the ingredients we require i have taken gobindobhok rice soaked in water for an hour and then drained out i have the cashew cashew nuts raisins i have turmeric powder i have whole spices cardamom cinnamon the garam masala whole spices then i have ginger i have garam masala powder salt to taste and also i have sugar so first i'm going to take 1 tablespoon of ghee and add that to the rice i'm going to add ginger and garam masala to the rice and a generous amount of turmeric and then mix that well and i'm going to keep this aside for around 30 minutes so that um, it gets mixed well you can also add salt at this time so that uh, the rice can absorb and get the flavors you mix it well and keep it aside Now in a frying pan I have heated oil and I have added 1 teaspoon of ghee and then I am going to add the garam masala whole garam masala spices when the oil is heated then I am going to let it splutter and when that happens I shall let the cashew nuts and raisins fry for a while I'm going to stir it occasionally to around two to three minutes till I see a light brown color appear on the cashew, and then I'm going to add the marinated rice to the oil directly. And then I'm going to stir it well and fry it for around four to five minutes. So after stirring it for 4 to 5 minutes this is how it should look and to that I'm going to add boiling water this is in the quantity double of the rice like if you have 2 cups of rice you add 4 cups of water so I had 1.5 cups of rice so I have added 3 cups of water this should be boiling water and you can add it directly and sim the gas and cover the lid for around the next 7 to 10 minutes So now it has been over 7 to 8 minutes. I can see the rice is half cooked. Now is when I'm going to add the sugar. I'm going to add like 5 teaspoons of sugar to this. Because this pulao is supposed to be sweet like it's the mishti bashanti pulao and this is how it tastes. So I'm going to add sugar according to the taste and then stir it well so that it mixes and blends with the taste of the pulao. and i'm going and i'm going to add 2 to 3 uh, drops you know of kaura water to enhance the flavor and i'm going to cover the lid for the next 3 4 minutes to let this the oil and the water to completely dry and the pulao to become properly cooked allow it 2 to 3 minutes of settling time and you're done with your bashanti pulao serve it hot with a mutton or chicken gravy or aloo dum if you're veg and you're ready to go thank you so much for watching bye